We are also very happy um, to uh, have one of our famous firebackers, Suki Nakajima, here. So what we will do now in the following 15 minutes, we will have a group media interview. So uh, we'll please feel free to ask all the questions you want to do too. It's okay. So then I leave the stage. So, How was the race uh, last year? Do, do you enjoy racing on the circuit? Yeah, it was very oh, exciting and uh, enjoyable race because it was first my race for Formula 1 and uh, well, I think Singapore was a uh, very good place to do the first time races and uh, we had uh, such a lot of clouds and uh, yeah, I think just uh, everything worked very well last year and uh, yeah, from the last year's experience the race will be used better. Sorry, uh, there's been a lot of uh, uh, drama off the track. So, how are you uh, focusing or preparing yourself mentally for for the Singapore GP? So, uh, this uh, race will be very tough uh, race and uh, probably one of the most difficult and uh, maybe the toughest race in the, in the year. So, uh, yeah, I've been uh, preparing in terms of uh, physical fitness or even yeah, mental upset strength for people. And uh, I've been training here for more reason two days. I had it two days ago and uh, yeah, I just I've just spent most of the time for the flying family and the training in the team. And yeah, I'm I feel ready uh well, mentally also so yeah. Can you elaborate on some of your physical or mental preparation? Well, basically, uh, the physical fitness, uh, preparation is just do a training in the heat. So we do a training like running or the weight training in the outside. We just to get used to the heat and humidity because this well, temperature and humidity affects a lot uh, for the driver. And uh, for mentally, just uh, well, I'm using, we've done a lot of simulator, uh, say, we, we used uh, simulator in our factory a lot last week just to well, simulate uh, the driving or also it helps to get ready uh, mentally. So. Kazuki, is it, is it very a lot of pressure for young Formula 1 driver nowadays considering that Lewis Hamilton won it pretty quickly and then is there pressure on other teams to, to, for the young drivers to also to also uh, be as good as Lewis? Or? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's just good to see that uh, yeah, especially uh, the driver like Lewis who was doing very good anyway in GP2 or XP and uh, or oh, many drivers competing against him and competing with him very closely and uh, it's good to know that I'll say, I'll say it's good to know that he can win even in F1 which means that the standard of the young driver is quite low it means that the standard of the young driver is quite high so I think suddenly allows uh, I'll say the young driver to come into the F1 maybe
yeah, the, it's it's very simple, and uh, it's good to keep the things simple as possible, just to avoid any uh, pressure or yeah, things like that. What keeps you going? What keeps you going? Yeah. Uh, basically, well, uh, all the motivation is coming from, i will say, because my my, I'd say my aim in the is to. Get result or to be as good driver as possible. So yeah, I think that target gives me a motivation just to keep it. Yeah. Because you talked a bit about your preparations, your personal preparations before the race. Um, what sort of preparations do you do with your team um, in the interactions that you have before? So with, with my team, uh, basically. For the race weekend, every time we have a four bit of meeting with, the, with my engineer in the factory, and uh, yeah, including simulator uh, session, so well, we can simulate by say, well, basically we can practice the race track, and also we can try there yeah, are some setups which uh, my engineer wants to try, so we can have rough idea even before uh, coming to the race track. So yeah, that's the, that's the main thing. And uh, also we go through with the, uh, I'd say we go through about the some upgrade coming. So we, we can have a rough idea how the car will be in the race track. So all these things, yeah, is the uh, repression with the team.